13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Back in the room. Oh, cool. Literally just right, right back in the room. says grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid but it's been busted ever since i can remember a man on the run he's a ghost he is no one yeah. Yeah. This is a <laughs> closing the fridge it's great the song is actually sick Wear a raccoon. <laughs> well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. That's sweet. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Oh, oh okay. Oh, well, somebody's got a girlfriend. Is it Janie? Oh, yes. It's not Janie. She is so smart. Love Janie. Okay, I'm just teasing. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, uh. what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. Honestly, the mouth movement isn't that bad. Facial tonight. expressions are pretty good. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. <laughs> You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. <laughs> you can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Do that cake. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house. And you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. <laughs> Butts and stuff. <laughs> What's the end stuff? I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Mm. Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I think you should, dude. I think you should get this game. Don't you dare touch that dial. 
So what? Aww. Now you're too old for gifts? Come back and pet the dog. No, I was just looking around. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. Yeah. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Mm. Could she be right? Oh, damn it. At last. Huh? We have arrived at the monster queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. You're really shit for walking around with a goofy dated haircut. That'd just As be I ridiculous. Saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you can trust Gamora with that thing that I was definitely paying attention to. I trust her with my <laughs> life. I didn't I hear a trust thing. trust her with your life, too. That's it's hilarious. Okay, mean. Fuck. I've got a lot more experience sneaking into places than you do. I still say me and my track. I had no idea what they're talking about. Him. Not without sounding every alarm in the process. And you've been outvoted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> no idea, dude. Man, look at this place. This broad ain't exactly subtle. Mind your disrespectful tongue. You're in her domain now. I thought the jungle was her domain. This is the inner domain of her domain. Are you serious? Guess we're going to find out, Nain. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm... A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer. <laughs> Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a Flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? Flark and Army. I have seen one Trump. Oh, Boone, I, I feel you, man. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand correct. <laughs> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? <laughs> Great question. Next time. I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! How's Gamora <laughs> supposed to find him once we've sold him? I'll find someone who knows and listen. You're gonna ask for directions? Never said I'd ask. Screw this. I'm not gonna let you just wing it with Groot. We're doing it my way. Gamora knows what she's doing. She'll find a map or something. Because I'm the navigator, right? Then navigate yourself out of my way. I'm <laughs> taking my tracking device, and I'll get him out myself. The Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, 
You will remain still. No erratic movements. I know what you mean. Do not blame me for your fear. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I said, Milady. release it. Got this. What the f Okay, I get it, Drax. Yep. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Hmm. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. <laughs> Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Or something. <laughs> Bitches love blue. <laughs> you got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Mm. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. Mm. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me. Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill. Jeez. Creature. Goodness gracious. A Flora Colossus. I thought your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? Oh, shit. I mean, no. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Groot, 
He's the best monster you could buy. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Oh, shit. Well, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. Oh! I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Oh, damn. 12,000 for the Flora Colossus, then. 12,000 is not Not enough. that bad for a Flora... whatever. Deal. 12,000 units it is. K and some flark. <laughs> Hot flark action. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. Mm. Only Flarks. <laughs> Only Flarks .com. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. What the f you guys were supposed to wait for me. You what the me hell? I was establishing an you were flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? <laughs> well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're oh, doing gosh. my plan. Okay, I'm Captain Kirk. <laughs> the skull suits thrown them, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Why does it not have an alien STD? Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, <laughs> what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No chilling! <laughs> Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. This one works wonders for Star-Lord. handed to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare and study father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I'll show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Festive headwear. The throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, keep our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole oh, hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have Probably should have scanned that area to see if there's anything cool. Come on, you were thinking it. She was practically begging for a night with the big glue. My gift is not for sale. Please don't call it your gift. Whoopsie. Just saying, you could have taken one for the team. She clearly wasn't going for Quill. Just don't call no it your gift. For Quill. How did this get turned around on me? That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? Paid, stolen, such. I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time when Ansara? <laughs> you remember no such time. Before your days, muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. 
Admit it. Welcome back, wild child. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying. Have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door, and it'll find the roof. Same option. Okay. Tracker says. Ah, come on, you skank. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Laddie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Oh, these ground wires are just tied together. And here. Got it. Switch this. Done. This one. Oh. Uh, Peter? Close it, close it, close it. Close what? Hey. We've got good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's killing permitted now, Peter Quill. Yes, now. Kill them now. Laura, <laughs> cut him down. The assassin's blade makes short work of these weaklings. Okay. Well, that was not ideal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. I thought I got it. Did I not get it? Oh, I completely missed. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, not even close. Okay, here. And the here. Was got it. Uh, just a little slip. Oh, no shit. Big deal. Oh, shit. Oh, we know. You may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Yeah. Probably just lower to hide a bed or something. Good. Got it. Totally fine. There. Everyone's like fine. That, I can get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. First try. Oh yeah, easy. One tap, like I knew what I was doing. See, nailed it. That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Rude went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. The voice does not convey certainty. I'm mostly sure. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. <laughs> okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at hey, least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? Those arrows are very Smooth deceiving. Sailing from here. What the? Glad someone else realized the cranky tea. It wasn't just right me. Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Just heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You ain't sure a scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. <laughs> rodent has tiny padded feet. Oh shit. <laughs> rodent is more irritable than usual. He didn't want us to sell Groot. Nor did I. She was an inferior choice. We got paid, didn't we? Now just a matter of us all getting out of here in one piece. What it has tiny penny feet. Rocket, wait for us. These Not cats party? Oh yeah. Thanks. Doing guys. great, Nard Dog. Doing great. Really enjoying this game. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. <laughs> I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Oh, okay. Guess I'll go this way. Oh, 
What is that smell? It's the Malta. The what? The dry grass. Or at least it's supposed to be dry. Yeah, maybe don't leave it out when you've got a hole in your ceiling. Oh, hey, here it is. Rocky, we found him! Over here! Group! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flat. Whoa! Hey! Let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. <laughs> It's too thick. Who knew? That's <laughs> it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two. Ah, <laughs> oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, twinkle. Make sure want to change his skin back. Good to have you oh, back, I can't. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. He's a little upset with me. Hey, wait up, bud. Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on the stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen was... I don't know. Traumatized him. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. She did do something to that Taratara. So no one's gonna talk about the fact that he's walking around naked. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Bedouin flop? Oh, boy. Oh shit. Oh crap. What? Guardians of the galaxy. Oh. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Oh snap. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd what? scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is the worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender. No way. Let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably. Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath. I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them. Oh shit. That was a twist I didn't see coming. Miller in darkness. Oh shit. Okay, that's a true monster. Well, let's make it truly dead. We're gonna get blacked if we don't deal with both arms. Over your ears. Now is the time to strike. No mercy! Feel this! Good job, buddy! Let's give him out! Look! It's sucking up that door! What? Pay for that! Oh, very Lovecraftian. Now, attack! Oh, you 
treasure! The beast must feed upon these gelatinous creatures! That's little comfort, Drax! We need to get to the core! Smack it inside! This general life device! How is it freaking? No, 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 no! Oh, God. Close. Got it. Okay. I got it now. Competition where the losers fail the test. Well, those scut plugs on the field only want to take us out. So if we don't dance together, this whole fight will be a rout. Who's with me? Ah! We are! Oh, yeah! Small Ooh, let's go! They're too hot, you walking timber! Whose idea was to connect these sharks on the inside? I don't know. Cutting into them is pretty fun, right? Uh, Most things run hot. You only delay in the Damn. Love it. Guys, we, we did it! They live! Yeah. Bring me Nasha! Everybody grab a bike! Ooh. Here's see what would have happened if I sold Rocket. Damn. Get out of here and Wish I could have used that. Everybody strap in. Now that was a ride. This is no time to celebrate. We have made an awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's ride. We'll see about that. What the? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Mine, guardians of the galaxy. I know one bone in particular that she's interested in. <laughs> She'll hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives a scut? 
We got off that mud ball uh, with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree. Tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot. You got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's hmm. weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Hmm. Nikki. Is it true? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? Twist the I thingy. really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone. I sent the board and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't go to Riker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. Yeah, what? it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. Poor Tooth's ears. Sorry, Tooth. I just have to... What the hell? What the frick? Mark it! Look at what it did! It killed everything! The Scott! <sighs> Rocket, relax. It's just an array. Just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no. We don't listen to Rocket. He just has to fix the freaking ship. I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys. We need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy I'm nowhere has got the parts we need. And he can get rid of that Nova Trek cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. Her behavior was erratic. The llama thingy mm. chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <sighs> Good conversation available. They might have to do. This is all. Hey, one. Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and Gamora, I was just. Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. Hmm. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Danta, it is. leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on no the No square cubes in this chat. Don't let your Amazing. eyes be square. That's right, nerd dad. Have a good night, man. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Shatari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Doing great, man. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. 
The Shatari have these gladiatorial games and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <laughs> the Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Hmm. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Completely different story from the yes, MCU. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Hmm. Very... Interessant. Hi guys, I'm Action Jackson. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and ringing the notification bell. And also, maybe check out a little bit of this content over here. Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh.